In this video, I'll teach you how to make this 3D fur text effect on Blender. If you want to learn how to make this, just stick by. First thing we're going to do is open up Adobe Illustrator so we can um, figure out what we want to make a fur text. For this tutorial, I'll just be doing one letter. I feel like this effect looks the best and works best when it's like one big letter in focus. So I'm just going to go ahead and select the type tool and type in the letter I want to use as well as pick the font within my properties panel. I used a free font called Cruniverse and I wanted to customize it further. So I right click my mouse and created an outline and then went ahead to that left panel and grabbed the direct selection tool and moved the vertices to my liking. I kind of wanted the, um, the little sticks of the E to be like thinner so I had more room for my fur, so that's what I went ahead and did. And creating an outline also makes it editable in Blender. So even if you don't want to edit your text, you can you still have to right click your mouse and create an outline before you save your file to import it into Blender. And in order to export it, I just go to File, Export, Export As, and I make sure it's an SVG. Now you want to go ahead and open up Blender and go to File, Import, scalable vector book graphic and just import your file it's going to be super small just highlight everything and press s on your keyboard as well as rx 90 on your keyboard to rotate its axis 90 degrees first thing we want to do is add an extrusion so i'm just going to go um to the geometry tab and add the extrusion of my liking then I added a plane, an add mesh plane, just so you guys could see this better, as well as this is going to be my background um, for my final render. I then just set the axis to the center of the object by right clicking my mouse and clicking on set origin to geometry. Now I'm going to go to the render properties tab and just turn on ambient occlusion and screen space reflections and I want the um, fur on my object to land properly on all the sides of my letter so if I go to um, wireframe preview I can see that there's lines everywhere so in order to fix this I go to the modifier properties and click on decimate and just depending on the size of your SVG you either have to make it bigger or smaller so I had to actually go uh, to 12 and that worked for me and I'll just press apply and make sure you're doing this within the planner subsection after that you're just gonna right click your mouse and convert this object to a mesh and then we're going to go to the modifier properties again, and we're going to add a remesh modifier. I used smooth for this and I went to nine and then I pressed apply. This number is arbitrary, so just depends on the size of your SVG. As you can see here, I went back up to 10 to get better quality. It's now time to actually add the fur. So we're going to go to the particle systems it's going to automatically be an emitter but you just go to hair and then as you can see it'll add i guess hair to the object but it looks kind of crazy right now so we're going to adjust the settings so the first thing we're going to do under the emissions tab is change the number to 3500 and that should add more hair and then we're going to change the hair length to 0 0.3 um, and these numbers are arbitrary you can play around with it depending on the look that you're going for. As you can see here, I kind of wanted the hair to be shorter. So I tried 0.1. Then scroll down to where it says children and click on interpolated. And from here, it's gonna add a lot more hair and you can change the display amount to like 50. So you could um, see a lot more of what's really going on with the particle system. Then we're going to scroll down to roughness and where it says random, I'm going to put the number to 0.1 and that really made it look crazy. But as you can see, it like kind of 
makes the hairs randomly it makes the hairs more random so it looks more natural like actual fur would be so i'm playing around with the number i think i went down to point zero one now that I have the hair particle system settings to where I want it, I'm just going to slide my mouse in between these two tabs and turn this into a shade editor tab so I can adjust the materials. And then I'm going to actually go to my render preview um, settings over here. And I'm going to change it to world and I'm going to add an environment texture or an HDRI by going to add texture environment texture and connect those two nodes. And I get my HDRIs at polyhaven.com and they're free. In the shade editor tab, I'm going to switch back to object and I'm going to remove the existing material and add a new one. This should bring in a principal BDSF node and I want my material to have a little bit more dimension in terms of color and I do that by clicking shift A and then pressing search and I bring in a noise texture, a mixed RGB node in a color ramp and I connect the mixed RGB to the color, the color ramp to the fac and then the noise texture fac to the color ramp fact and this allows you to add like two different colors so this way you have a lot more dimension like real fur would have and this is just me playing around with the colors it kind of I really like the green but it looked like grass and I'm trying to go for fur so you'll see I kind of change the color a bit in the future and before I fully adjust the material I just want to Add and adjust the camera so just click the camera icon press n on your keyboard and press camera to view so you can move it around with your mouse i went back to adjusting the color as you can see i changed it to a pinkish color that i really liked and i also added a material to the plane that i added earlier so i can change the background color to a pinkish color as well and I actually decided I wanted a bit more dimension for the background, so I quickly did that by shift A search and I'm adding a Verona texture as well as a color ramp and a mixed RGB node. Or actually I didn't add the mixed RGB, just the color ramp. And that gives me like a cool, you know, diffused polka dot type of effect which i really like and that is basically it i'm ready to render and by the way i am in cycles you can also render an ev um so i changed the max samples to 200 and i unclicked the denoise because i like the noise and then i went to file and i saved that and then i went to render render image and there is my final image i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you like comment subscribe if you have any questions leave them down in the bio and yeah thank you for supporting my channel